Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, and join our Facebook community for epic weekly giveaways. What's up, Airsofters? It can be argued that the modern sniper rifle has a certain aesthetic, one that some may consider to be a bit tired or worn out. Indeed, there are very few modern rifles that can boast a unique design that isn't in some way inspired by an already existing system. I mean, heck, the humble bolt action has been around since the 1800s, which is practically forever. And since then, hundreds of iterative designs have flooded the market with lookalikes. So it's especially special when something comes along and flips the standard way of doing things on its head. Head over heels. End for end. Silverback Airsoft is one of those rare companies that's not content with a mundane design. And their Stealth Recon Scout, or the SRS if you prefer, is one such rifle that defies modern convention. Unveiled by Desert Tech in 2008, the real SRS's design had seemingly one focus. How do you take all of the advantages of a precision bolt-action sniper rifle and make them more compact? Now, bullpup designs were nothing new when the SRS was announced. In fact, there had already been some semi-automatic bullpup snipers like the M82A2, which honestly was super weird looking. To be fair, it wasn't the first bolt action bullpup either. I can hear you all typing DSR-1 as furiously as possible. That wasn't the first either. So while the SRS may not have been the first of its kind, it's a modern bolt action bullpup sniper rifle that uniquely combines bolt action precision and boasts a superior weight savings, balance, and an incredibly compact profile compared to other systems that use a similarly sized round. The guys at Silverback Airsoft have faithfully and accurately reproduced all of the advantages, design elements, and weight savings of the real SRS for the world of Airsoft in their fully licensed, spring-powered, bolt-action sniper, and I gotta tell you, they did one hell of a job. Without spoiling too much, this is, potentially, one of the best out-of-the-box airsoft sniper rifles in the game today. And it comes in both right and left-handed variants. So you lefties aren't left out. Taking a look at the outside, the bullpup shape is obvious. Barrel here, trigger group here, and magazine behind. By using polymer construction for the majority of the body, the center of balance is shifted rearward, creating a more even weight and feel, giving you more control and the ability to throw on your favorite scope and bipod without the whole thing becoming overly front heavy and cumbersome. DSR-1, I'm looking at you here. Do we need a sniper rifle that's 30 pounds? I mean, maybe it's not 30 pounds, but it feels like it. As you may well know, different shooters of different sizes need different length stocks or lengths of pull, and the Desert Tech SRS has you covered here with included removable stock spacer pads or stock pad spacers. Both the spacers and the stock pad itself are removable in the same way, which also happens to be how you access the rear installed bolt and spring assembly, making it one, easy to swap spring rates for a variety of fields and scenarios, and two, being able to adjust your length of pull depending on the situation to maximize your comfort. And just in case you need more spacers because you've got incredibly long arms, worry not, we've got extras from Silverback Airsoft right here at evic.com. An adjustable cheek riser means you can set it once and return to an optimized, comfortable shooting position every time. And that comfort and precision makes you a more accurate sniper. 
Now this being the A2 variant of the Desert Tech SRS, this rifle shifts even more weight rearward by swapping the Picatinny handguard and full length top rail featured on the SRS A1 and HTI for a more streamlined M-Lock handguard and shorter Picatinny top rail. Now there's still plenty of room up top for any number of optics configurations and plenty of space to mount your favorite bipod. And again, since it's M-Lock, it's very streamlined and lightweight. The A2's chassis system allows you to easily swap between different barrel lengths and handguard lengths, which are also available on our website. So if you buy one and find that you need either a longer or shorter option, you've got it to easily change. Now, it does come out of the box as either a 16 inch or a 22 inch variant, with both of these being the 22. The controls are optimized for ambidextrous use without losing sight of your target or having to shift your body position to actuate, with the safety selector on both sides being easily accessed by your trigger finger and the magazine release being releasable by your offhand on either side. Now this doesn't change for the left and right handed models, it's just that you can depress it on either side uh, with a button. The bolt handle is long with a substantial cap, which is great for using with gloves and making the cycling the action all the easier. Of course, if you get the left hand variant, the bolt will be on the left side, but the rest of the controls remain the same. Thank you, Silverback Airsoft, for not leaving the lefties out in left field. And with that, we've pretty much covered everything externally, save for the hop-up adjustment, but we'll get into that in our testing. That's the beauty of a bolt action system, after all. Simplicity. Simply put, this Airsoft Sniper is one of the best out-of-the-box performers we've come across. FPS was measured with a 0.2 gram BB and clocked in at an average of 387 FPS on the model that we had testing. It's worth mentioning that each rifle is tested by Silverback before it leaves their factory, with the FPS average written on a tag attached to the trigger guard. We're pleased to report that ours was right on the money. And typically speaking, anything under 400 FPS is a little on the low side for a sniper rifle, but that didn't seem to stop the SRS from hucking a .43 gram BB all the way down our range. A six inch plate at 150 feet was no match for the Silverback SRS. And our cardboard silhouette target confirmed that hits, even headshots at that range are a simple affair. As you can see, it was a little bit windy for accuracy testing at any greater distance, but we did test to see how far a .43 gram BB would fly and we got it all the way out to 250 feet. That's a heck of a lot of distance for such a heavy BB out of a sniper rifle straight out of the box. That distance is thanks in large part to Silverback's two-part hop-up unit, which allows fine adjustment of both left and right, allowing you to fine tune the left and right tracking of your BB shot. Now there's no discernible click, but it is a really fine adjust, allowing you to precisely control that BB flight path. Of course, quality ammunition is a huge part of the sniper game. We recommend using BBs that are 0 .30 or heavier in your sniper rifle, especially this one, since there is plenty of hop-up adjustment to spare, even with a 0 .43. As for the comfort of the rifle when shooting, the bullpup ergonomics are not a huge disadvantage, but they do take some getting used to. The bolt is more rearward than would be on a standard rifle, so that means that you kind of need to crunch up to cycle the bolt. Just make sure you don't punch yourself in the face. Ask me how I know. When it comes to triggers, this Airsoft Sniper has a really smooth and light trigger, allowing you to squeeze off shots really repeatedly. But there's no discernible wall, just kind of squeezes. Now, I didn't really notice that lack of the wall when I was doing repeated shots, so it didn't really hinder my ability to get shots on target easily. I think I would have liked a more discernible wall, but the trigger is tunable, thanks in part to these slots milled in the trigger guard, allowing you to get an Allen wrench in to fine tune the placement and release of that trigger, so you can really optimize that trigger release for your specific shooting style. One thing I do love about this rifle is how quiet it is. The volume of air is just perfect for this barrel length, so there's not a loud pop when you shoot it. A quiet sniper is an effective sniper. And that brings us to really my only gripe with the whole thing. The magazine. 
It only holds 30 rounds. For reference, this is a VSR 10 mag. It holds 50 rounds. Why they couldn't fit more rounds in this is anyone's guess. Just have a few of these big boys on you if you plan to field this. Spare mags are, of course, available right here on our website. But magazine pouches might be difficult to find. Something to keep in mind. There's also a huge selection of parts for this thing. Fluted barrels, different rails, bolts, you name it. You can really make a unique SRS if you're willing to fork up the cash. I'll be honest, this is not the cheapest sniper rifle on the block out of the box. Check the price on our website by using the link in the video description. But you really need to factor in everything you're getting for the price. A perfectly balanced, perfectly tuned sniper rifle that outperforms custom builds. And it's straight out of the box. The internals on the Silverback SRS A2 are just as impressive as the externals. There's a bearing on the spring guide to prevent spring binding, and the piston is steel and aluminum with a 90 degree sear, and a shaped piston head which matches perfectly with the cylinder head. Speaking of the cylinder, it's mirror smooth on the inside, and threads onto the one-piece cast cylinder head and nozzle, making this an extra robust system that you won't ever need to worry about. No pins here, it's all one solid piece. The bucking and barrel are accessed by removing the barrel, which is a simple affair of loosening four screws and turning an unlocked screw above the trigger. Then the whole barrel assembly just pulls right out. The Silverback SRS uses a standard AEG barrel and bucking, meaning that our hops and other hop-up mods are also simple, and barrel choices are plentiful. Really, the only upgrades we can recommend here are a barrel and bucking, maybe an R hop mod. But since we're not suffering for distance here, it's not really necessary. But if you're interested, it is a service we provide. It's always a treat to see a rifle that is just as squared away and thoughtfully made on the inside as it is on the outside. And the Silverback Desert Tech SRS A2 is a shining example of what an airsoft sniper should be. If you're a fan of bullpups and you want to snipe, or if you're a lefty and you want something built just for you, or if you're simply looking for what is, in my opinion, one of the most ultimate airsoft sniper rifle experiences, then you need to pick up a Silverback Airsoft Desert Tech SRS A2 from our website, evic.com. Thanks for watching. And it comes in both right and left-handed variants. So you lefties aren't left out.